Welcome back to Games for Everybody, I'm your host Matt. So, I did a little bit of grinding to see if I could find new spells, but no such luck. So let's try out that magical lamp. Might as well get it, uh, early. So I just open up the magical lamp. And I'm in just a black void area, and there's a giant red and black devil creature with wings floating in front of me. He says, who dares disturb my sleep? This is, uh, Diablos. He is the, uh, he's the guardian force that I'm going after. He's got some new element, Demi. Okay, it's a gravity ability. Let's scan him real quick and see what kind of stuff he's weak against, if anything. So let's take a look at his HP. 8800, oh jeez. He uses a powerful attack called Gravija. Weak against wind, of course, I don't have any wind magic right now. Not strong against anything, so I guess that's a plus. Uh, so let's try and fight him with what we have. Let's see what a regular attack does against him. Oh, that was a critical hit, I, I don't... Let's see. Let's see what Squall can do. Alright, so he uses the ability Demi, which takes out a percentage of your health. Uh, most of his attacks only take out a percentage, so hopefully I can keep my cure magic handy and make pretty short work of him all right so eh, regular hits do an okay amount I'm gonna use guardian forces first uh, just so they can offset my HP so they can protect me early on and then I'll still have higher HP later on so I don't have to use a lot of cure magic so I got Siren, Shiva, and Kezakotl coming. So yeah, Diablos does have a regular physical attack that costs that causes a good amount of damage. I should have gotten more protection shells from that uh, from that boss earlier. Oh well, if I had known that that battle was going to be super super easy, I would have stocked up on him. Cause this is a hard battle. Let me just tell you. So Kezakotl's doing his uh, lightning attack. Almost 400 damage, not bad. That's about 5% of his total HP. A little less, actually. Let's see what let's see what Shiva can do. And I've summoned Siren because I think Siren can do, um, excuse me, status effects. But it's a boss, so a lot of times status effects don't really do much to a boss. Oftentimes they're immune to that kind of stuff. Eh. Still caused about 350-ish damage, so on average it's about 350. For those of you who did not see, uh, you guys got a passing hello. Alright, let's see what Siren does. So it shows a bunch of waves coming in. And the waves are damaging Diablos a bit. And now you see the Siren. Long, blonde-haired girl with a harp. Uh, mostly naked, uh, except for little bits covering the particular bits. Uh, holding a harp, and she's playing the harp to it and causing more damage. 200 damage. Uh, I'm gonna stick with Ifrit. And if his HP goes down, I'll, uh... Then I'll get her out again. There we go. So now he's using his Demi attack on the Guardian Forces. And once again, I'm still fairly reliant on, them and reliant on them at this moment in the game, but once I start getting better magical abilities, I can, uh, I can just honestly stop using them, and I only use them as uh, a way to junction, uh, junction magic onto my stats. Because you need them and their abilities to junction magic onto you, pretty much it. Let me drink my soda, gotta keep it PG for you guys. Even though I've already said a lot of swear words in this, because uh, the characters were saying it, not me. What's that? <laughs> Oop, let's summon another one. Oh, Ifrit finally got summoned, and he uh, took out 
Oh, more HP than Siren, at least. A good 150 more than Siren. About 350. So if I'm doing my math, I need to summon GFs about 20 times. If I uh, just use physical attacks, it would take a lot more than that, but not like an insane amount, but enough that it would get annoying. Not that these GFs aren't annoying, the animations are just long, and the uh, for the higher level ones that you get later on, like the more devastating ones, it gets annoying. Oh, he's using that Gravija ability, let's see what he does to my health. Oh jeez, two of us are in the uh, two of us are in the yellow. Ooh, I can have him use his limit break. So Squall and Zell have pretty devastating limit breaks. Selfie has that full cure ability, which will definitely come in handy. Hopefully, uh, one of us doesn't die before uh, before she's able to use it, because that would suck. And yeah, I have Cure Magic Junction to most of us, but uh, I can always grind for some later. Alright, Squall. Got a couple hits in. Ooh, he can do another one. Ooh, I got a perfect score. Ooh, I got my finishing move coming. This is causing a lot of damage. I'm not lying to you guys, it's like an insane amount. Oh, he's using Gravija again. Maybe that'll push Squall to use more. The lower his health gets, the more likelihood he has to use that ability. But it also puts him closer to death, so... Yeah, a little bit of a give and take there. Zell's health is pretty low, he can probably do some, and he can do some pretty devastating damage if you can, uh... If you really know, like, the button combos. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna hold off on summoning with Zell. But if he dies, then I don't have any way to bring him back to life, because I don't have any, uh, resuscitating magic. Oh, there goes Squall, he's dead. Once, wonderful. Well, technically he doesn't get experience points for a boss battle, so... We'll see, and I got Zell's limit break uh, already queued up, so maybe he can beat him. Who knows? I just have to remember the combos. It's been a while. All right, let's see what Zell can do to him. Uh, 16 ounces in a pound. Sorry, that wasn't for you guys. So if I just keep spamming this over again rather than using actual combos, I can actually cause more damage because it's just easy easier to follow, really. I can probably beat this without Squall, even though his Limit Break is definitely the strongest. Alright, let's see what I can do. Did that kill him? No. Wonderful. Alright, Zell. Work your magic again. One... Two, three attacks, four attacks, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, not bad. Oh, still haven't beaten him. Oh, and he killed one of my GFs. Wonderful. 
Uh, let's just use a random magic attack on him, see how that does. Oh, 100 damage, not bad. Alright, oof. Diabolus is using another ability. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Alright, Zell, do your thing again. Alright, I completely lost count of his attacks, to be honest, I wasn't paying attention. But he's causing a good amount of damage to him. I think this may actually go in my favor, we'll see. Oh, I think that's it. Let me see. Oh, oh my god, I got him. Okay, good. I beat him. So now I got him on my side, which is always good. And I can name him Diablos. Alright, let's see about healing myself. Actually, you know what? I can probably take a break in the hotel. I'm going to set a ability for him. Uh, I'm going to do Mug, because that's super important. It, whenever you hit an enemy, it gives you a chance to steal something from them, and you can use that to make better weapons. It'll take forever to get that ability, but it's there. And I'm learning it, so let's head into town. Oh, random encounter. I saved, so if I die, it's not that big a deal. No, oh, Squall's still laying there dead. Wonderful. Uh, let me see what I can get from this guy. Actually, I'm just gonna run. You guys have probably watched enough battles for this video. That was about 10 minutes. A little more than that, actually. Alright, so let's head into town. Uh, there's two people talking here. Let's see what they say. Where are you seeds off to now? You gonna fight some war? What does the other girl here say? Be careful. See you around. Uh, good to know. Alright. So I'm gonna spend the night at the hotel because uh, everybody is uh, seriously weakened from that fight. I think my guardian forces will heal from that, from staying at the hotel. I don't know. If they don't, I'll uh, do something to bring their health back. Alright, rooms are a hundred. So let's spend the night. Oh. Was that it? Did we stay the night? Oh, sweet. I guess we did. Our health is all full. And it looks like our Guardian Forces HP is full, too. Alright, so let's save. And we have a few more minutes to do stuff. So let's head to the train that takes us to our mission. Yep, got 3,000 gold just now from my salary. So there's a card game you can play in this game. Uh, I don't do it because it's not important, but it's like no kidding a trading card game. But let's uh, let's get a ticket. All right, so the state the conductor is here. He says the train to Timber is here. Please purchase a train ticket. Oh my God, it's three thousand. Whatever, I have the money, so let's purchase it. Please go inside right away. The train to Timber will be leaving shortly. All right, and the cool thing about this game is a lot of the towns are connected with trains, or at least the major towns are. Uh, it has a very like old kind of like twentieth century European feel to it, which is kind of neat because trains go everywhere. So I'm getting on the train. 
That's the train whistle. So it's showing the world map. The train is disembarking and going down a tunnel that goes under the ocean because Timber's on the other side of the world. Well, not the other side of the world. It's on another continent, I should say, across the ocean. All right, so Selfie's saying, This train is awesome! Uh, a transcontinental railroad, baby. It even runs through an underwater tunnel to get to Timber. Pretty cool, huh? Sure is. Zell's looking kind of exasperated at Squall's uh, apathy. Guess you're not interested. By the way, Squall, you have to use the ticket to get inside. So yeah, there's a door, and he's punching his ticket in there, and the door opens up, and it can get into their cabin. Okay, we can go inside now. ID check. Confirming. Access granted. I'm gonna go check out the front. T, thanks. Let's go check it out, Squall. Alright, so the two of them have left. There's a save point here. Let's save again. Because I'm a compulsive saver. Alright. So we're standing around looking out the window. Yo, check it out. So this is Seed's private cabin. So he's going into the cabin. Whoa! Oh yeah, awesome! Let's talk to Selfie and see what she says. I love trains. Yeah, she has kind of an obsession with trains. Train, train, take us away. Take us away, far away. To the future we will go. Wow. Let's go in the cabin before I die of diabetic shock. Alright, so Zell's here, jumping up and down on the sofa. <laughs> this is so good. I'm glad you're so excited. They even have magazines here. Oh, I got Pet Pals Volume 1. Interesting. This is pretty damn amazing. It pays to be a member of Seed. Squall, you know anything about Timber? Not too much. Thought so. Well, let me fill you in. Timber used to be a country surrounded by deep forests. But 18 years ago, Golbadia invaded. Timber fell quite easily to Golbadia, so now Timber's under Golbadian occupation. It's said there's a whole bunch of resistance factions, big and small. And? Nope, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Know-it-all Zell. Hey, no prob! Selfie just came in. I'm not feeling well. You should go get some rest if you're tired. I'm really sleepy. Are you okay? Hey, huh? What the? Something's wrong with me, too. I feel sleepy. What's going on? Oh, so they're all falling asleep somehow. What is this? Oh, they're all sleeping. And they've blacked out. And this is when we introduce, in my opinion, the coolest characters in the whole game. I'm sorry. Hmm? So they're all thinking thoughts as this is going on. Oh, so you see three Golbadian soldiers uh, without masks. One has long, dark hair. One is a bigger, muscular guy wearing a bandana. And the other's a dark-skinned guy with, like, long hair and braids in. Uh, Laguna, are you sure this is the right way? And they're in a forest, and there are a couple trees burned. And I'm controlling all three of them. Now we're in, like, a bunch of grass... So, one of them, the bigger guy, is named Ward, and he says, Oh boy, not again. Oh, I found a draw point. Cure. None of them have the ability to stock it. Alright. Oh, got a uh, random encounter, so I can figure out what these guys are called. Alright, so the guy with the long dark hair has a uh, machine gun. His name is Laguna. 
the uh, dark-skinned guy with the braids has these two uh, blades in his hands. That's Kairos. And then the bigger, muscular guy, he has a big harpoon, and his name is Ward. And the battle music for this is awesome. Alright, these guys have... Alright, so these monsters have magic I've already gotten. It's two, like, mushroom-looking creatures. And then, uh, like, an alligator with lobster claws. Alright, so I killed one of the mushrooms and the alligator thing. There's just another mushroom left. And it looks like they have the uh, the stats of the characters I was using before, so they just transfer over. And this episode, I think, is going to go a little long just because of a lack of save point anytime soon. So, uh, Zell, Selfie, and Squall are all extremely puzzled by this. Like, they can see the whole thing going on, but they're not able to talk or interact. So, Ward I'm going to use like a big deep voice, Kairos I may use kind of a youthful voice, and then Laguna just my regular voice. Hey, aren't we here to fight a war? You know against the almighty Timber Army? Yeah, so why are we wasting our time messing with these animals? Well, you see, it's just that, uh... Don't tell me we're lost again. Uh, anyway, we're going home. Delling City, here we come. Wait, Laguna! Oh, there's our car. We have a big armored car. Ooh, got a water spell. Alright, so let's get in the armored car. We're loading up into the back of it. Looks like we're driving off. Oh. Yeah, here we go. So we just parked in this, uh, like a square on a big city. Uh, so this big city must be Delink City, and it looks, uh, I guess I would say kind of like Paris. You have the big arch in the middle of town, and then you have a bunch of like shops, and it's very like well manicured with lots of trees and banners and stuff. Hey, you can't park in the middle of the street. Chill, man, it's cool. All right, then, how's about a drink? Whatever, like you drink. We already know you're not in it for the drinking. Just admit it already. Yeah, just drink some juice like a weenie. And then gawk at the piano lady. Don't call her the piano lady. That's it, forget it, I'm not going. We know you will. <laughs> so we parked in the middle of the street and a bunch of cars are uh, stopped. Let's see, how do I get to the hotel from here? So yeah, they need to go get a drink, so I have to go to the hotel for that. I could use public transportation, but it looks like it's not running right now, because somebody parked in the street. So I'm just going on the uh, perimeter road. Oh, there's the hotel. Whoop, dang it. I went back the way I came by accident. I think there's a save point here so I can end. So yeah, there's a long row of shops and things, and it says Galbadia Hotel right here. So I'm going to go in there. And there's soldiers everywhere. Yep, there's a save point. So let's save. Alright. Well, we'll see what happens with these guys. I'll see you all next time.